Hi hey everyone, it's Overlord73. A different kind of video today. I'm going to be hopefully doing a repair video on my Sega Game Gear. This, um, back in the day, was a pretty awesome bit of kit, really, and I'm still a big fan of it. The only trouble with them is they are very prone to getting screen and sound problems. If I quickly switch, you, switch this on for you, I'll show you exactly what I mean. We just look directly at the screen. I think we've got Sony 2 game cartridge in at the moment. And as you, as you probably won't be able to see, or not very clearly, the game has actually started to play now. But this screen is very, very poor indeed. And the only way you can actually improve it is by tilting the console itself and looking at a weird kind of angle you can actually display the screen a hell of a lot better and actually see what's going on on the screen it's a case of now you see me now you don't now you see me now you don't and also with the sound which I, I think is turned all the way up and as you can get, probably tell we can't hear the damn thing the problem with the console is the capacitors on the main board are basically all crap dead so they need to be replaced to um, improve the overall quality of the picture and the sound. I think at the moment this still actually works with sound if you plug headphones in via the jack on the top. But it's not ideal sitting with headphones on and holding the console at a weird kind of angle just to play the damn thing. So we're going to uh, open this up and um, see if we can fix it. So I'll just quickly show you what I need to do. There is cartridge out. There is a security screw there which needs to be opened which I do have a special game bet. I'll see if I can pick this up for you. The actual shape of it. I don't know if you can uh, make that out. On, let me flip the light on. Yeah there we go. You can actually see see that it's a weird uh, weird kind. Pick this game bet up off eBay. It was only a few pounds so well worth it and there are six screws as well that we need to remove that's one two three four and then the last two are underneath the battery covers just in the corners there's one down there and then also again on the side down there so I'll get this uh, opened up and then I'll show you show you exactly what I mean by the faulty capacitors Right now folks, as you can see, we've uh, opened up the console, this being the front part, and basically the faulty capacitors, I don't know if you can see them too good, are these little square blocks. Um, it's fairly notorious, the Game Gear, for having these problems, so all these need to be replaced, or quite a few, there's different versions of the Game Gear, so different versions require different, different capacitors and a different number so all those will be replaced and that should hopefully fix the screen problem and then for the sound problem we need to take this little board out and there are five capacitors on this that need to be replaced there's two small ones there and there they are the main culprits but there are also that one there and then there's two underneath the, the metal shielding I don't know if you can see underneath there underneath there that will also be replaced as well so I'll go away and replace all those now and then I'll uh, show you how I get to with that you see the overall condition of the actual game gear itself is absolutely spot on nothing at all wrong not dirt no sign of any leakage or anything but trust me they do not work anyway I'll go off and I'll um, solder some new capacitors on and then I'll show you how we are with those right so here we have it, I've replaced all the faulty capacitors now as you can see all the ones, all the power ones on the main board all replaced so hopefully that will do the job on there and then also on the soundboard I've removed the, the heat shield and as you can see there it's a bit of a cramp just to get all the uh, new capacitors in we've all got them in there so now it's time to put it all back together and see if it works so I'll just do that now and uh, 
Fingers crossed, we'll have a fully working game gear again. Right, we've fully put it all back together now. Plug the power in. So let's get the old game cartridge in. And fingers crossed. Oh yes, look at that. Camera angle straight on and the, the clear crystal screen really. Obviously if you tilt it that way now you can't see it at all. You can mess with the brightness. Put it all the way up, it goes a bit too bright, so drop it down as soon as it's nice. The volume will go quite a bit higher, I think, as well. Excellent stuff. So yeah, there we have it. So if you um, by any chance have an old gear, game gear lying around that doesn't actually work, fairly easy to fix. I will put a link in the description to a nice little tutorial just how to uh, swap the capacitors over, which ones to buy and everything, which I used. Um, and yeah, it works pretty cool. I'm very happy indeed. Fully working game gear again. Alright guys, thanks for watching. Check back soon for the next video.